Hello there ladies and gentlemen, I'm the CHAL Allen today, Chell Chats Theme Parks, where we have a big update on a brand new roller coaster for 2027 already. And this is about Nigloland or Nigloland, if you however you decide to pronounce it there. So it's a theme park in Europe and they're adding this brand new roller coaster according to report for 2027. So please, please, please make sure you do like, comment, and subscribe. Click the case bell to name YouTube video. We are on the road to 3,000 subs and half a million views. We are all about the latest news, reviews, interviews, and analysis from sports, from theme parks, and just about any walk of life. And for now, guys, let's have a look at everything to do with Nigloland's 2027 roller coaster. And let's start with the facts and stats. And they state as follows. A TV report by French broadcaster TF1 has shown off expansion plans for the park. Finance reports that over the next four years, the park hopes to add their first coaster, including inversions, with a reported budget of around 15 to 16 million euros. Now, from the look of the screenshots, and I will provide a link, by the way, to the uh, report, so you can check it out for yourself. There will be adverts, so uh, be warned for that. Uh, but it looks like it will be a Mac Big Dipper slash Mac Striker Coaster. Now, the trains look to have 16 seats and four rows per train, and it seems to show a launch system within the layout. Now, for those of you who don't know what a Mac Big Dipper or Striker Coaster concept is, it's manufactured by Mac Rides. It's pretty much their version of a Gerslau Eurofighter, so it could have a Beyond Vertical first drop. It will probably have inversions. This looks to be the first launched version uh, of the coaster. Of course, we've got the Striker Coaster, which is uh, the launch system, which will be used as part of the Voltron Coaster at Europa Park, ready for next year. Of course, that's their new project. Now, this will be the second to have launch system once this one opens. Um, but if it's a Big Dipper, then it will be the first of the Big Dippers to have a launch system. So, just depends on what direction they're going to go in here. They're going to go in the Big Dipper direction, or they're going to go in the Striker Coaster direction. Now, of course, it will contain multiple inversions, and it will be a signature roller coaster investment for many theme parks and amusement parks within the world. Now, if you are looking for any previous examples of a Mac Big Dipper, then look no further than Europe itself. Because, of course, Wallaby Holland added Lost Gravity, which opened on the 24th of March 2016. Now, this was the custom Big Dipper. It was the first of its kind at the time, uh, using the new Big Dipper-style trains, with its own theme song written and performed by Dutch artist Mr. Polska. With a height of 105 feet, a length of 2,231 feet, a speed of 54.1 miles per hour, two inversions, and 4.3 G-force in a 2 minute 23 attraction. Now that, of course, this isn't the only Big Dipper, there are, of course, five currently, uh, with three under construction. We also have Dynamite at Friesic Park Pallone. You've got Vina Looping, which is set to open next year at Vina Plata in Vienna, Australia. You've also got one opening in Vietnam, uh, a custom family launch one, which is Sun World Barna Hills. Uh, and you've also got the Project uh, Voltron at Europa Park, the Voltron Coaster. So, and that'll be part of a brand new area as well. So, this is definitely going to be a wonderful looking project for the park. 2027 is the touted year for the development, according to the report on French broadcasting system TF1. Now, I want to give a shout out to TF1. The link for that will be in the description down below. Do I think this is the right investment for Nigloland? I believe it will be. I think that this is a unique coaster. It's got a unique seating variation. And I think that the overall concept of the ride could be a very good, nice, unique concept that will bring a lot more visitors to the park. I think they're going to play it really smart here. And I think that um, this could be a wonderful, wonderful ride. And I really think you've got yourselves a wonderful investment here. Now, in my personal opinion, will this be the best coaster in the park? I'm yet to judge it because I would rather go out to the park myself and try out the current coasters before 2027 just in case we see this coaster being built in 2027. So hopefully, fingers crossed, a trip to Nigloland could be in the que uh, could be involved in the question and debate uh, over the next two, three years, uh, and we'll see what happens with time over that. But overall, I would think that Nigloland is definitely a improving park. I think it could be a, a, it could be a progressing park, and I think this could definitely be a good sign that things are progressing with Nigloland. So 
majorly, majorly impressed with this announcement, potentially through TF1. Obviously, this is just reported stuff at the moment. It's nothing official from the park yet, so do comment down below what your thoughts on it are. But for now, guys, thank you very, very much for watching this Chell Chats theme parks video. Make sure you do like, comment, subscribe. And for now, I'm the C-H-A-L-L. Ta-ra for now. Thank you.